Now, Madam Abba, unfortunately, is not here. And uh, Arun is here. And all of you said, our key thrust is polio eradication. Polio has disappeared. Fine. But did you know these diseases have a different thing altogether? Disease is not due to... Disease doesn't go because of our treatment of our vaccination. Disease goes when the immune system of the human beings improves. Remember that? These are called dynamic diseases. They have a cycle. If a layman wants to know what a dynamic disease is, I don't recommend you go into the medical literature because there's a jungle full of dead wood. There's occasional teak or rosewood, but to get there, you will be eaten by the tiger or bitten by a snake. So I suggest a good book for you, a layman's book, which is called Turning Point. Book is called Turning Point, written by a physicist who himself became altruistic. His name is Fridjof Capra. Fridjof Capra is teaching physics in the New Now I'll come to reality, my dear friends. Disease is directly proportional to the virulence of the organism, but inversely proportional to the resistance of the host. 1915, Theobald Smith was an American physician who had the audacity to say this because up until then everybody believed in Robert Koch. Germ, disease, germ, disease. Kill the germ, disease gone. No, disease has not gone nowhere. I won't tell you more about polio because it might hurt. Because you don't want to know the truth. Truth is bitter. Truth is very bitter. And truth can influence only half a score of men in a century, said Aristotle. Where falsehood and mystery will drag millions by the nose. I will tell you something. There is an Indian scientist called Pushpa Bhargava. Pushpa Bhargava is a respected Indian scientist who was the vice president of the Indian Knowledge Commission, right? Now he resigned from the commission because I'll tell you why. Anyway, he wrote a beautiful paper for you people to read, which is called The Politics of Poliomyelitis. What's the paper? Politics of Poliomyelitis. It's available on Hindu. And if you want to know, it's the March 11th Hindu, 19, uh, 2000 something. I don't exactly remember the year. But if you go to Hindu's archives and push there, Pushpa Bhargava. Friends, knowledge advances not by repeating known facts, but by refuting false dogmas. Of which there are many in the world. Number one, even a textbook of medicine as recently as 2006 the British National Formulary has this sentence in it. Number one, do not give live oral polio vaccine to malnourished children. Number two, if you want to give it, first improve their nourishment and when they have enough nourishment, then only give it. Number three, space it by more than one month because repeated doses quickly will damage the system. And number five, it's only in India that the 31st dose is being given the other day. And the argument is all children don't come every time, so we'll give it. Those who have come, they have taken 31 doses. Now what happens in a poor child if you give polio vaccine? It's a live virus. So if the virus goes in and your whole immune system's head off is, is in the gut, from your mouth to the anus. And we need germs there. Do you know how many germs you've got between your mouth and anus? You'll be shocked. 10 to the power 13, 100,000 billion germs you have got there. If they are not there, you are not alive. We have a symbiosis with them. And this virus goes there, in a child which has no immune system at all, the virus mutates. It becomes a powerful P3 virus, P1 virus, the deadliest virus, and comes out in the shit. And mind you, we don't have toilets in our villages. And the shit gets dissipated in rainy season all over the place. Other children touch it and eat it. And they are now given a deadly P3 virus. And according to Pushpa Vargava, thousands of Indian children got polio recently. Not because of the God-given polio, but man-made polio. The immune system depends on three things. A, your mind, your consciousness. All negative thoughts destroy you and not the person they're aimed at. Ayurveda so beautifully said, Krodha, Shokha, Bhaya, Ayasa, Viruddhanna Bojana, Taponalan, Katva, Amlakshara, Lavana, Tikshnoshnati, Rakta, Pitta, Prakopet. All diseases come from the mind. And what is the solution? I'll give the rotary solution. Hita, Mita, Ahara, Sevi. Eat in moderation. Be a gunda. Best thing is, eat it and walk away and forgive him. 
forgiving is not cowardice forgiving requires a lot of strength of mind then what does it say data samaha satyapara data be a giver not a taker samaha treat everyone as equal don't look somebody down look somebody up and a man's character can be found out how he behaves with others you just have to observe a man talking to his boss and talking to his peon then i know what the man is if he talks in two different ways he is a man to be shunned i always tell young girls looking for a husband just to go and watch him at his work and see how he behaves with his boss and his assistant if the behavior is different leave him end your dating that day itself because he is going to be a very bad